Nirmali Makalanda, musician, former newsreader, and announcer. Tavat meveni mevedistani ki nevetat do bahamunturu obri suvadai gratre mama obihitas nirmali. The songstress with a unique, lilting voice hailed from Kalutara, a prominent city on the west coast of Sri Lanka. Nirmali started her music career in 1986 as a child artiste at Selby C. She had her debut in Lamapitiya, a radio program at Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation done by the famed music director Danny Master. Pipun man bingu di putuni nitiwe bini. In 1991, she qualified as a certified artist at Cell BC. No pipi ekili. Under the expert guidance of the legendary musician Mervyn Pereira, her guru Nirmali soon sang along side senior vocalists of Sri Lanka as a chorus singer. She also sang duets with her guru when the occasion called for. Mervyn Pereira, who dazzled as a songwriter, singer, music director, arranger, and teacher never failed to mention facts about Nirmali's musical prowess in live media interviews and discussions. It must be noted that during this period, he voluntarily created many compositions for her to be sung at Selby C programs. Even as a very young girl, Nirmali entered the arena of announcing especially Sinhala news reading by joining Sarasa Radio in 1996. <laughs> After the year 2000, Nirmali came under the guidance of pianist and composer Harsha Makalanda. Western music theory, piano technique, and music appreciation were some of the subjects that were studied and practiced during this period, especially in the context of the local music industry. The collaboration with Harsha Makalande, who has had a Western-oriented upbringing, has opened up new avenues by way of fresh styles of orchestration and instrumentation in Sinhala music. In 2001, she was invited to vocalize the song Morning Star by Harsha Makalanda with lyric by Kapila Kumara Kalinga. The song, which became a hit in Sri Lanka, was used for promotional work of the film Power Waller. In 2001, she was invited to sing at the Presidential Award Ceremony at President's House in Fort Colombo. Her performance of a lullaby from the film Urkaba 
by Lester James Pieris, the doyen of the film industry in Sri Lanka. The singer was highly commended by the film director who happened to be in the audience. Harsha Makalande, as a Sri Lankan composer, embarked on a mission of finding an identifiable sound in music for Sri Lanka. To achieve this, he formed the ensemble named Chrome. Many musicians and vocalists joined Chrome to create music with the idea of innovation as their base. Nirmali, as a progressive vocalist, blended ideally well with this setup. The fusion style of Chrome Ensemble encouraged Nirmali to do her original arrangements successfully. After 2017, she started to compose her own songs, coming out with notable creations with respect to the Sinhala music scene. Rhythm elements in her new and original productions contain seeds of Sri Lankan drum music, Indian percussion, and Latin music styles. It has been noted that her vocal inflections are clearly influenced by Hindustani, Carnatic and Sri Lankan pop, folk and church music. Leading critics in the Sinhala film and music industry have highly commended about the unique vocal timbre in her voice. Nirmali was very fortunate to come under the purview of very conscientious parents. While her mother did most of the groundwork of providing the necessary conditions for a performer, her father initiated the journey for Nirmali to become an artiste and announcer. He took the trouble of introducing her to some of the leading personalities in music and media of the day. 
Here, we must mention some important relatives and friends who extended their hands to assist her in obtaining audiences with prominent radio and TV personnel. Local music critics have noted that Nirmali's songwriting style is evolving into a refined blend of Sinhala music, spanning from the Northey period to a post-1970s pop sound. Please subscribe to Chrome Music Colombo so that we will keep you updated on new video releases.